Here is why the national healthcare will destroy the private healthcare. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the News in 5. I'm your host, Joe Emilio. Thanks for tuning in. Now I did chat about the NHI being pushed through Parliament in a separate video or previous video. Please go check that out. Link is in the description. But I also found this article which explains a little bit more about how unrealistic the NHI actually is. NHI will crush private healthcare in South Africa. Last month, the Portfolio Committee on Health in South Africa adopted the NHI bill despite strong opposition from many stakeholders. The NHI bill aims to ensure universal access to healthcare by creating a single public health fund financed through general taxes and contributions from higher income individuals. The Department of Health explained that national health insurance is a way of providing good health care for all by sharing the money available for health care among all our people. People. The health benefits that you receive will depend on how sick you are, not on how wealthy you are. <laughs> Why have I heard that before? Ah, well that sounds very familiar to how the government hospitals operate right now, and we all know how excellent those are. The plan sounds noble on paper. However, delving deeper into the issue quickly reveals why medical professionals and the private sector loathe the NHI. I loathe you. <laughs> The first criticism is that the main reason for private health care and medical aid schemes is that the government has essentially destroyed public health care. Yeah, something I mentioned in that previous video. Instead of admitting their failure and improving public health care, they want to get their hands on private health care and the money that funds it. <laughs> This will limit competition and choice, which reduce wastage, spur innovation, and drive insurers and healthcare providers to cater to patient demands. The NHI would leave all South Africans worse off in a system where state provision becomes impossible and private health provision is effectively closed down. But here's the kicker. Another problem is funding. Renowned political analyst R.W. Johnson said the government appears to be pushing NHI, but there is no plan on how to finance it. <laughs> Even in the NHI bill, which was recently passed in Parliament, there is no provision for financing it. He said there is a strange assumption that all money currently going into private medical aid will be diverted to fund the NHI. It is very difficult to see why this should be the case. If you tell people who pay for medical aid they will no longer get private health care, they will simply stop paying. There is no way private medical aid money will simply be handed over to the state to fund NHI. This is a peculiar assumption. He added that the National Treasury has never supported NHI because the funding model would ruin the state's finances. And this is an excellent point from R.W. Johnson. I mean, after all, the whole point of paying your medical aid is that you get private health care. If a medical aid tells you you're no longer going to get that, well, then you're just going to stop paying. That's natural. Which means that most of the medical aids will probably shut their doors or liquidate or something to that effect. I very highly doubt that the medical aids are just going to be like, okay, fine, you know what? You and ANC, here's the millions and millions of rands that we've taken from people to fund your NHI pipe dream. And again, that means that ANC really doesn't have a plan to fund this. To try to provide the same healthcare to all South Africans without additional funding will overload and ruin the private healthcare system. It is therefore no surprise that many doctors, dentists, and other private healthcare professionals have already left the country because of the government's NHI plans. And you know what? Probably more medical professionals are going to leave the country. It's scary to think of where the healthcare system will be when NHI is officially here. But I'm going to remind you guys of a campaign that the IRR is currently running. It's called hashtag stop NHI. Please go into the description below and have your say. Let's make sure that the NHI does not come to fruition. And don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this content, you might enjoy these videos. Leave a like and please share the video. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here. I've got more content coming your way. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you at the next one. Cheers.